So, what we're going to start on the skirt today, like Woo actually cutting real fabric. Before we did that, so last time we double checked our pattern, and I want to actually have this be a little puffier on top, so we're going to yes, take we this do. line and, and curve it out a little bit more. Um, <laughs> because we worked on getting the poof up there we should use it oh uh, yeah I hope <laughs> so anyway and then i raised the whole dress form up so it's four inches taller than lily's waist so that gives us two inches for um shoes and two inches for hem we aren't going to have a two inch hem that just gives us enough wiggle room that we're safe we like wiggle room <laughs> um we took and put a line along the bottom to make sure we're at about floor length. Mm -hmm. And then the same going around here. The longest piece this if you can't tell. This is the back tell. one and there you can see her train. My train! Whee! In paper form. In paper form. <laughs> oh, funny. And then Good. we double checked our pieces for length. And so here's our two front pieces. matched up like this and um, you can see this green line here is going to be our cutoff line. Keep filming for a couple more seconds. We'll curve that up and we're not going to get too worried about the hem because we're going to be pinning the hem on Lily in the proper shoes. Mm -hmm. So this just and we've got the extra two inches to play with. Mm -hmm. So now we're ready to cut fabric. So this fabric is lovely. But when we lay it out, it can swish in all sorts of directions, mm -hmm. which would end up with a skirt swishing in all mm -hmm. sorts of weird directions. <laughs> so we want to make sure we have a nice right angle line that we can lay out to make sure our fabric is square. So, take this, hold it straight. And we're gonna pull it straight across. This has a uh, cutting board has a grid on it. Ooh, ah. And so I'm gonna pull this straight straight across the grid so the fabric will sort of naturally follow straight across. I want to try to keep parallel to these lines the whole time I'm pulling it. Across. Okay. Now I can take the clear roller and push it across and get rid of all those little bumps and wiggles. Oops. Thank you. See how this really wants to wiggle. So now, let's see. About here, we're coming straight across. So I've got a number 28 here. So we're going to go 28. We're going to do a pin line across here. That'll show us our perpendicular. So if you can help me through one layer of fabric. Yeah, or actually first through two layers. Do we want to? Yeah. Through both layers because we have to transfer to the other side. Go. So now we have our pin line across here. We have to have it on both front and back of our two sides. So we want to take our pins and go through one layer of fabric and just go right next to that other pin. Yeah. This is a little tricky. So we put the matched up the pins on this side and now these pins need to be just through one layer of fabric now. So they need to be in the same spot but just through one layer. So now we know our pin line is a straight line. Okay. Straight lines are good. Straight lines are good. Um, <laughs> let's scoop this up here. And we'll lay this out flat. We're going to have to go. We'll have one half of it on the Looks like a bubble. board and the other half will just go off the edge. Go off the edge, man. This is terrible lighting. You guys can't see, but it's such a beautiful color. 
Well, especially since we're on the back side. It's still beautiful. <laughs> so now I'm going to pull just like we did before. Can you pull that over? Now we'll see whether our pins are lined up, which they probably are not. Let's see, yeah, we're on 30. What? Can you find out if we're close to 30 there? Peek underneath. Here, we can peek this way. Yeah. That's 30 right there? Okay. Okay, so now we can see where 30 is. So now I can pull on the fabric this way. So I can pull down to match that up. So we realized that the fabric was really moving around on the board. Because it's satiny. Because it's satiny <laughs> and it's kind of wiggly. Um, and so when I worked in theater, we would have these tables that had thick cork on the top of the table. So you could pin wiggly fabric to the table. Uh, and we realized between our cardboard and our carpet, we could actually just pin the fabric <laughs> to the cardboard and then just like as if we had a car top table. And this isn't a shag carpet, this is a really matte indoor outdoor style carpet. Yeah, it's so gross. That works perfect for this. I guess so it's here, good we have it. <laughs> you will see, yes, yeah, so it's very handy to have this. So here we've got Carpet's pins so sticking gross. straight through the fabric into the cardboard or the carpet. So now we know it's not going to move on us when we do our next exciting step, which is pin the fabric. Mm -hmm. Or pin the pattern, pin the pattern so, fabric thing stuff. Yep. Hang on a second. Yeah, that's where I'm going to. We sort of lost some of our um, poof that we added in with this skirt. You can see it's pulling it in and turned it back into an A-line. So we want to add some of that fullness back in. I don't feel like adding paper to the pattern again. <laughs> no, you don't want to do anything more. We're tired the of that. So Oops. when we pinned our pattern piece on, I took a, a arbitrary point. I picked 30 inches. It's a round number. I went three inches out because at the hip line I'm adding an inch mm -hmm. and I'm adding, I've got four seams that I'm adding an inch to, which adds eight inches at the hip, which should give us enough space. Yay! So there, there's our new cutting line that we're going to be cutting along pens. the pins <laughs> and we'll be doing the same when we flip the pattern over. <laughs> So next, it'll be cutting out. Right? Yep. Old pin line. Ah. Ooh, pin line. Got our fabric pinned up nice and square. We're going to add our new straight line on, on this piece across here so that I, I'm going to be pinning a straight line so that we don't have to try re square the fabric. Okay. First the cut. first cut of my actual fabric. Oh! Excitement! Crazy, crazy. This is the first panel. The back, you said? Yep, this is the back. With the, the back change. panel. Just crazy. Fabric being cut. Stand. That's why I said let me have the scissors because you're being careful with my scissors. Whereas I can be careful with my scissors a little closer to the pins. You do some ballet. No, don't step on pins. 
You guys, look, it's cut off. Oh, look at it. Yeah. Oh buddy. my gosh, that's beautiful. Look at how flowy that is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so beautiful. I thought it would make you happy. It does. Oh my gosh, guys, they're fabric. It's fabric. I think you just keep it there. That'll be out of your way. Well, yeah, that's what we will do, but I you need You can't to see, but it's so pretty with the shininess. <laughs> Razzle dazzle. There's fabric. And there is my train. Well, half of it. Half of a train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's beautiful. It just flows so nicely like a waterfall. Can be and Susan. there's she, you, you the front have now panel. Named her. My sister named her Judy. Her sister Judy. But she named her sister Judy. She said she was always in the way. In the so you saw how my dress is coming along. We cut out two of the panels for the skirt, so that's really exciting. Um, still have to cut out the other panels and then sew them together, but we're getting very close. So it's very exciting, but I think next week we will cut out the rest of the panels and we will be able to sew them. So I will have a skirt, which will be very exciting. So tune in next time for that. Bye!